friends, welcome to this new winter whole week laundry with me. It's a clean with me type of video, so if you like good cleaning motivation, don't click off. Go ahead and watch with me, because this video is packed with laundry day motivation and we are going to be doing lots of wash, dry, fold and put away stuff, so enjoy! I'm a stay at home mom and I'm sharing my laundry routine and right now a lot per day works the best for our family of four. Please let me know about your current laundry situation and are you still able to control it? For this pre-holiday time I find it so hard to stay on top of it. Life has been so busy uh, that sometimes, uh, some days I literally forgot which day it was, but I try to start my washer every day anyways. I have been busy a lot with filming and editing a lot, uh, trying to decorate the house and we still don't have the Christmas tree yet, but it seems that most of moms are in such uh, the situation now for this season. And the next week is that going to be better because here it starts winter holidays for the daycare and that will be hot time for me, I promise. This will be two weeks with two kids in the house and lots of plans and routines. And I haven't even started to wrap gifts. Oh no, no, <laughs> don't judge me. Just tell me if you are ready yourself. I have started all my holiday prep in advance and I'm still somewhere in the middle. And yes, today's laundry uh, video and um, after my short video about cleaning my washing machine, I keep getting so many questions, uh, so I thought I would talk to you today about my laundry tips. Actually, I have a video about this, but it is pretty old right now, so I think it will not be too much to discuss this. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, you can see right now I am folding these um, beddings, and actually it is the beddings what I wanted to mention first, because I always wash our beddings on hot cycle as well as our towels and um, this means that my washer machine is working several times per week on high temperature because usually I make uh, two or three uh, loads with the bedding and uh, plus two loads with uh, towels so several times per week on high temperature and I believe this helps me to keep my washing machine clean because I know many people who only use cold cycle they are struggling with this uh, build up inside of washing machine and the mold. Also I very often use white vinegar instead of fabric softener uh, so this also helps uh, to deodorize and sanitize the washer. I believe in this with all my heart and I follow this and uh, I think this gives me a result because this washer which you can see right now we got last year approximately the same time before the Christmas so it is let us say one year old and I literally cleaned it twice so mm, once in half year and I believe this is good result if you have not seen this video, I will link it in the description box. You can see it was not so bad. Um, yes, the filter was of course dirty, but uh, there is no mold. And I believe this is the maintenance which I do uh, day by day. Also, I need to mention that I always use liquid detergent. And I believe this uh, helps me a lot to prevent this build up um, inside of the detergent dispenser because um, with our old washing machine uh, we were using powered detergent and I had to clean this um, dispenser or drawer uh, really much more often because it was really greasy uh, but now with everything mentioned I say I only clean the washer 
twice per year. And I will be glad to know if you do something uh, from uh, mentioned above and uh, do you believe this actually helps uh, to keep the washer clean or not. Personally, I believe that maintaining is much easier than fixing a trouble later because uh, washer and dryer are not the cheapest uh, tools and our helpers in the house, so I prefer to prevent. And also about prevention, I know there is a very good uh, tip which I don't follow uh, because you can see this uh, washing machine opens kind of from the um, right to the left and there is the door uh, which we use to enter the shower. So if I would keep the door open all the time, um, it would die in a couple of days with my kids who run into the shower. Uh, several times per day and also this um, sliding door uh, also doesn't help me a lot so <laughs> what I wanted to say there is a good tip to keep the uh, door of the washer open so that uh, it gets ventilated and gets dry inside and uh, it should prevent mold to be growing inside but I cannot do this physically unfortunately uh, I don't even try because it is uh, senseless in my opinion so what I do is I try just to dry it with a uh, microfiber uh, as soon as I remember but because I run it several times per day usually I do this later in the evening after shower so this is my tip this is everything what I can do for this washer to stay dry let me know what do you think about this I would be happy if you share your experience because uh, personally I believe that uh, there is no right or wrong uh, situation uh, in this meeting. Um, I mean we all try to do what fits for us and if it fits for you and it does not fit for me this is absolutely normal and I just want to know different opinions because sometimes we live in our world we are all um, deep into our thoughts and we don't think about anything else until somebody else tells you wow and your eyes get open and you understand this was so obvious why I never thought about this and this is why I'm encouraging you to lead the message to try to keep this discussion with me with me and it will be so nice if other viewers can read the comments and find some wisdom there
Okay guys, if you are still watching this video, it is now time to have some fun because you can see I was falling and falling and falling these socks and I just thought, ah, I was reading this book by Marie Kondo about this medical tidiness and um, I remembered this pa uh, passage about falling socks and I thought, okay, I don't believe this, but let me just try, it makes sense. And this is what I'm doing. I'm taking all my socks which I have and I'm folding them different ways so that they are not just a messy bun. And you will see in a minute I will put them back, back in the drawer where they belong and they will take so much less space that I was really much impressed. So after I'm ready with my socks I will go on. And I will take all the socks from my husband and I will do the same. And if you are falling with me, ah, this is a really cool motivation because uh, now I am watching this video again and I can't believe that I decided to do this because this seems to be, uh, I would say, it was a big effort for me and it took me a while to decide to try this. And honestly, now I'm so happy that I did. And um, now I am only folding socks this way. It is not exactly like it was told by Mary Kondo, uh, because I still decided to wrap this once a final time. But you can see this is really so, so, so few space. And here are socks from my husband. So if you are folding, enjoy. Shook off all the bad vibes, cut me loose 
now guys as you can see i have managed a lot to wash dry and fully put away during this week and even if i have messed up with my usual laundry routine i mixed up all my uh, laundry schedule days uh, together and some days i was just doing it opposite uh, from what i planned to do but anyways i have everything done i am happy that we have again all our clothes clean and ready to use and uh, i can be proud of myself and i hope this video get you tons of motivation i hope you enjoyed it if you still need more motivation go ahead and check my playlist which i created to help you not to search for videos but just start it on the background and go on with your cleaning routines. Please have a good day, enjoy your homemaking, please take care of yourself and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye bye!